Hi, in this video I'll be covering pivot tables. Now pivot tables are a really great data analysis tool. You're able to get a lot of good information out of a table of data. Well, let's make sure that our table of data is done correctly. Our first row is going to be where our fields are for the columns. So in column A, for example, I've got this from the US Census data. Uh, I've got a state column state field, we've got a, uh, a day T, no, let's call that a date column. We've got our population estimates and each row is going to be a record, its own unique record. So with that set up, we can go ahead and create the pivot table. Now for Excel 2007, under the ribbon just go under insert, pivot table, and Excel smart enough to know where the data resides. So it resides in the pop estimate, pop est tab from column A1, excuse me, cell A1 to C256, right here, all the way down to the bottom. So most times Excel is pretty good, pretty smart enough to know where the data resides and for the table that we're using. And then we can decide if we want to put a table in a new worksheet, create a new tab here or in the existing worksheet and you just click in this location field and pop one of these cells and it will create the pivot table there. We're just going to use a new worksheet here. Click OK. Now we've got the pivot table area here where we can build the report and we've got our field list here and some criteria here where we can start adding the fields to put it in. Now what I'm going to do is probably just uh, start putting them into the rows. So once you click that, it defaults and put it into the rows. Or you can either move them, like I'm doing right here, or there's another way to do it, and, which is to right click. You go ahead and select that and right click, and we'll just add it to the row label and the date, and we'll add that to the column label. And population, I'll just move the population down here to the values. So what it's done right now is it's given me each row for the state and the columns for the growing uh, years, 2005, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So that's really nice the way that it does that for me. And you can, once you get it here and all set up, there's a lot of things you can do with it. You can filter, you see this little drop down, drop down there. Let's say I only want all the states that start with the letter A. Alabama, Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas. Boom. And you can also filter for the columns here, the column labels. And let's, let's say I only want the odd number years, 2005, 2007, 2009. Boom. So you can see there's a lot of filtering that can be done. You can also do uh, filtering based on uh, ascending or descending filtering. Uh, you can have filters if it equals uh, if it contains a, a number, let's say I only want uh, something for less than less than July 2007. So there's a lot of things you can do. Let me go ahead and control Z here, control Z, and bring it back to its original state. You can also move these columns around. Let's say that I want to see the last year first. I'll go ahead and click, let's see, click here, oops, click here. So I select that column. And once the cursor turns from this plus sign into this plus sign with arrows, I can left click it and move it. And see now I've got a little bar here. So I can move it, let's say I want to move it to the beginning here. So it's moved it over. So there's a, there's a lot of movement you can do with the pivot tables. And that's run one neat little trick. You can also, uh, these, these values right here, these sum values, this is a sum of population. Let's say that I want it to get a percentage. So let me go ahead and control Z out of that. Maybe I only want the grand total. So I'll go ahead and just take out the years. Boom. Nope, nope. Let's say that I only want a grand total. So I'm going to go ahead and just put the, remove the date. So I've got a grand total for that. And let's say I want to have a percentage of this. I, I, can, I can go ahead and click on the sum of population and go to the value field settings. 
and let's say and here here it can do a count it can do an average a min max but I want to show the values oops let me go back to some I want to show the values as a percentage of the column what is a percentage of the of the total so I can click down here and it will give me a percentage of the total which what I also usually like to do is have a comparison of the actual number and the percentages and so what we can do is we can add another field of the same thing you see where the uh, the blue bar is it can be before or after like I have it before and now we've got our integer count and we want to get a percentage and we can do a percentage here so isn't that neat so that's pretty cool a lot of good things that you can do with pivot tables well thanks for watching